Jimmy, difficult one to take. First home league game of the season. Your reaction to that one? I don't know. I can't kind of put a finger on it. Listen, we were. I don't know. It was so bad. It was like after 10, 15 minutes, I knew exactly we were going to get nothing for the game. It was. It was that bad. Consider I said to the boys in there, all the plaudits under the sun for the last three or four weeks because they've been excellent. But today it was just we were all over the pitch. We we're not taking the ball in the right areas. We we're only doing the right things. We we're passing it blind, and options on the ball were very limited. And whereas the likes of we worked, we worked so hard on training on Tuesday and Thursday to make sure we got options on the pitch because I knew Anna would come and try and press us and make it difficult. And listen, fair fairness to Anna, I thought they were excellent today, uh, but. The, the goals we conceded today were no good enough. At our level, we should never be conceding. Listen, it's a great strike for Chrissy Johnson, the first to go 1 0. Uh, and they kept peppering us, they kept kind of, we didn't use our head, we didn't turn them in behind. And listen, at the end of the day, I like to play football, but there becomes a point where you can get the ball into an area and get everybody up the pitch. Uh, but I just think each each and every one of them in there probably kind of let themselves down. Uh, and listen, I take full responsibility for that because at the end of the day, I've got them trying to play a way uh, that I feel they're capable of. But at the end of the day, I just think it was probably a good wake-up call to actually say, like, well, do you know what? This, this is a tough league. Aye. And it, it seemed we, we struggled from the start today and it almost seemed that no matter what we did, we just couldn't pull it around after that start. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's, you've, got to, you've got to start games well in our league. Uh, and getting top of teams, and I thought Annan from the first for the first two minutes, I thought they were excellent. But going uh, going forward, it's a learning curve, uh, and as I say, I take full responsibility for that. So, listen, I've just got to pick the boys up on Tuesday night. Uh, obviously, the game's off now against Malawi. It was probably a good one to get out the system for today, but obviously get them in Tuesday night working a few things that obviously need addressed for uh, today's performance. But listen, we'll, we'll be we'll be fine. Obviously, just gonna pick the boys up. Uh, and get them, get them back on board as well. But at the end of the day, it's it's a, it's a difficult one to take. I'm guessing it's a pretty flat dressing room after something like that. What, you know, what do you say to them after that? Is it a case of going back to basics and say, look what we've been doing for the last few weeks? Listen, I'm, I'm flat myself. I don't really know <laughs> what what to how you explain it because it was it was uh, no good enough for, for my standards. We need we need to be taking the ball under pressure and doing the right things. And listen, there's going to be times in the season where we will end up maybe getting beat, but we need to get beat in the right manner. Because mm -hmm. I think today we're, we're a pushover today, uh, and as I say, I don't want our teams to be like that. I don't want uh, teams coming here and coming away with three points, never mind a 3 0 one three points, you know what I mean? So going forward, we'll address that, but we need to obviously hit the ground running now. Obviously, you know, other results in the league as well. But, uh, so, listen, it's, it's a long season. I'm not going to get too disheartened now, but. Obviously, I'm raging inside, but we need to keep keep working hard. It's just two games in, as you say. It's going to be a long season, but we're waiting for Cowdenbeath next week. They beat Elgin, that in itself shows what a kind of topsy turvy league it might be. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, they came out 3 1 winners today. Uh, so, no, it's the same again. It's another game we're looking forward to. If we can get the right the right players, I know, obviously, hope, hopefully, we can, with Dino's picked up a hamstring, would he be calf? So, we'll obviously get a few different kind of injury problems there. Well, listen, we'll not, I'm not worried about that. We've got some players that can come in. Uh, so, listen, it's, it's a difficult difficult one to take today. Uh, well, I'll look back at it tonight and tomorrow night. I'll probably not sleep tonight for the next week. Uh, but at the end of the day, we'll, we'll obviously get the game against Cowdenbeef that we need to look forward to. And as you say, just pick the boys up and hopefully kind of get a good result next week. It's refreshing to hear that honesty that there, there isn't any way to try to dress up today that unfortunately just wasn't good enough. Yeah, listen, at the end of the day, I'm not going to sit here and I think I've, every time I've done an interview, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, and today it just wasn't good enough uh, from my standards, and I take full responsibility for that. So, going forward, listen, I hopefully this is a wake up call for us all uh, myself, Daryl, Robbo, Tomo, and all the players involved. Uh, so, listen, if, if we can learn from it, it'll be a good one, but it's still, we can maybe look back at it in the next few weeks and say, well, that was a learning curve for us. It's only half a dozen games, all told, all competitions. There's still a long, long way to go. Yeah, definitely. Listen, that's that's the nature of the, the beast, as you say. It's because there's so many games to go in the league, uh, and at the end of the year, you're not going to win it in the next three or four games, aren't you? Know? So, listen, it's a long season. Uh, as you say, look, you look at Cowden and Beath today. We obviously came out three-one winners against uh, Elgin. So, listen, we're more than capable of getting up to Cowden and Beath and putting on a show and getting three points. So. 
uh, fingers crossed that we can get up there next week and hit the ground running.